That's another discovery. Special time. You assist care on with a light up bit as well. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here, one of the Star Trek Discovery, the official Starships collection from Eagle Moss and Hero Collector. This is the special number two. Now, anybody watching this channel from in order will know that I stopped collecting the Discovery ones quite a while ago, mainly because uh, issues and whatever else. Another reason was too really expensive, absolutely ridiculously expensive. These were, these are in the shop at the moment, fifty-five pound. I've actually got there was there was some decent offers on a few weeks ago. Half price, so I think this would go down to twenty-seven pounds. It's a lot cheaper than what I was buying when I was being a subscriber. And then you can find discount codes online, so I'm not the fifteen percent off. So this and the specials three and four, which is coming very soon, got to do the reviews on those, are absolute bargain discount it would have been stupid not to buy them at that price it's not black friday yet well not in filming wise anyway it might be black friday when you're watching this it might be black friday 2025 i don't know but it's it was silly not to buy this i mean the size of this it's it's right here's the latest bonus that we got from eagle moss right <clears throat> size wise it's um yeah the box is is half the actual, yeah, half the length of the Caron. Height-wise, you could probably do two again. So you're probably going to say four, yeah, four of these size-wise. This shows how big the actual box is. Standard Eagle Moss stuff on there. Apart from that is now a sticker. That's a bit odd. See, with these being out, I think this was released December 2019. So this is, this is now for, from filming, two years old now. So it's it was before this that I actually stopped buying getting these. I actually thought I was going to get this one before I finished the subscription, but they didn't send it. So that's fine. I've who's laughing now, Eagle Moss? I am because I've got a decent model for cheap. So we'll come to the model in a second, and there's actually a bonus with that as well. So let's get you in for the magazine. Apologies again for the lighting in here. It's too good, so unfortunately. Right, length, 9.6 kilometers. Yep, 9.6 kilometers. Destroyed, 2256, origin, mirror universe. So it's a big ship. Okay, so it looks like it's twin hulled, attached in the middle on two sections, unless that's a circle. That is a circle because it has the, oh, what do you call the mycelial, yeah, super mycelial reactor in the center there. So it hangs on the back. I will not be putting that on the stand. That does not look like, because that is, well, hold on a minute. That's on the front part here. So you've got to put the stand, so it's facing downwards. Hmm. So the stand would be in front of the whole thing. That's not right. Okay, maybe it's the whole problem with the weight-wise on this. Looks very much to me like Babylon 5. Or at least that picture reminds me very much like Babylon 5. Was that the back? Was that the front? Because I thought that the sphere was on the front. Mm, okay, don't know. Flagship for the Terran Empire. Emperor Philippa Giorgio. Mm. You haven't seen Discovery yet? Yeah, it, it, it's a hit and miss. It's like, it's like all Star Trek... Star Trek starts off with, eh, well, I don't like it. And I've had a few people comment and the, 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 it, their opinion is completely valid as well as mine is. I don't like Discovery. I don't like the ship's Discovery. Yeah, fine. I don't mind. I'm still a little on the fence with them. Some of the design work is stunning. Others is, is just pathetic. But it's fine. The whole series, when we had Enterprise, the NX-01, when that came out first time, it was... It's, it's not right because this is there's nothing before for um, Kirk and obviously this is as well but I had the same feelings in 1986 I think it was when the first oh the, the fourth Star Trek film came out Voyage Home and on the video for that on the VHS copy of the video for it was a trailer 
for the next generation. And I detested that. The whole look of the Enterprise D, it's it's the, the weird neck and the weird shape of the deflector. It, it was horrible. And then I'm doing a series to actually have a model which is two foot long. <laughs> so it, you do come to like these eventually. Ooh, that was like a Cloudminders sort of sort of shit with all the domes on top. That's kind of these are obviously the designs. Johnny was again, is it? Nope. We'll find out in a bit. That's some very interesting design work. Yeah, we always we always hate the, the new series, always then love the ones before. Deep Space Nine, don't get me started on that. It was a space station, it was in direct competition with Babylon 5, as it was, and yeah, it, it yeah. I think, you, I think you know what I mean. It's, we will get used to it eventually, I'm sure. So there's some more ships in the collection. I've got, at the, at the moment, I've only got three of these models missing. I'm not sure if any of these are on that list, but we will get there eventually, we will, persevere and get the full collection so hold tight we'll get there eventually yes okay don't know what that was so let's get out the model and like I say there is a bonus with this it looks like it's been oh, it's fine it's just a cardboard so nobody's gonna ooh, nobody's gonna have a problem with that okay right Okay, stand wise, right. ISS Keron 0798XX. So, don't know what the XX means because some of the specials, some of the bonuses, some of the bigger ones were A slash A. So, why XX? I don't really know. Stand is not going to hold. <laughs> So I am not going to use that. That squeaks in there and I don't like polystyrene. If you don't too, then I apologize. It hurts me as much as it hurts you. So again, what the scale wise I always go by is, <sighs> standard ones is either the length of my hand or the width of my hand, and it usually fits pretty well with that. Or the specials or the, 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 the bigger series for like the like Discovery or the Universe is, is both the length and the width of the hand. This, right, you can see a problem already on this. Let's go to the back, let's do the width wise, shall we? It is the width of my hand. <sighs> let's get that on line with the, because it is on the, the, the part of the hand bit, not the wrist, not further up here, but um, yeah. <laughs> it's almost twice the length of my hands. That's absolutely ridiculous size. I mean, I've heard of, um, overcompensate for something but good lord this is ridiculously big this the, I'm saying that however the next two bonus ones that come along or the special edition shall I say which is section 31 station the box is even bigger and um, Starbase one just wait for that one honestly just wait for that so we're gonna get in a bit more on this so we have the front end there let's go a bit closer to you Front end got these three mandibles on front. I'm guessing I'm, I'm, this is going to be the front. I don't care if it's not. I do care if it's not. Which is the back and which is the front? I don't know. Right. Let, let's right. Let's ignore that then. Let's do this as the front then, because you've got a bridge section up top of here anyway. There it is. That's better. So we've got double mandible front, same as Babylon Five. So let's come down. I need to stop referring to the Sci-Fi series when I'm doing a review on, on this, but it's it's all, I think it's all good nods to, to different Sci-Fi. Really good. Size is ridiculous. If they're like warp nacelles in the back, then so be it. They're the metal sections as well underneath. Size, I think, is ridiculous. You've got a lovely Mirror Universe pendant there. Yeah. And the actual detail work on this. They must have spent hours designing this, if not weeks, months. Very discovery styling, shall we say. If they're thrusters, that's just ridiculous. Come along the sides. Two fins there. 
There's the uh, mycelial core, is it? Go around to the front now. I mean, it is just, on this model, just a ball. And we'll come back to that in a second. Or 10, maybe. On the underside, right, this is where it gets a bit disappointing and I'll go through this part in a few seconds. But let's just have a quick look at what it is. I'm gonna have to turn this because I'm gonna hit the, uh, the screen before I show you the back end. This is like Spaceballs 1, this. This is ridiculous. So, there we have it. Top section, yeah, I mean, it, it backs, let's have a look, right through the back, that's, <laughs> that's just weird. It's the size is just stupid. Honestly, I mean, that, that'd be fine. If it was that, that length on perspective, fine. But when you open it out, it's like, oh, wow. Absolutely ridiculously big. So, let's get on to the little idea of there's an issue here. Right, let's go inside here. There's, there's like orangey bits all the way around here and maybe a... The trap door is that, that drops down from the Emperor's room. Underneath the side. These are probably scorch, burn marks, maybe pollenish sort of things. The button, that could have been done a lot better. They could have done something where maybe you, you push the, that down, little button underneath it. The button obviously is for here. Now, I need to find a screwdriver. Because I do have a screwdriver to hand as always. Now, this is for the battery. Anybody remember an ep episode, an issue I did with the special issue from the original Eagle Moss collection, which was the Planet Killer. That's the one. <laughs> I did not have a battery. So the problem with it is it was powering this thing. So the Planet Killer on the center of, of the actual part actually lit up inside it. I couldn't get it to light. I didn't have a battery. Luckily, I do have uh, a few batteries. So that's fine. I, I've um, I pre-figured this one out. It's a shame Eagle Moss don't do anything like this. They are CR927s. They are very small batteries. Not exactly standard batteries that you get. It's not like a 2032 is very, very common. It's in most key fobs, remote controls and stuff like that. What that gets me a little bit is this whole section comes off. So you can grab hold of it, take it off, and there's the battery holder. Three volts. You can put three volts to it any other way, way you want. There's actually a magnet there, which is a little bit annoying because there's a... I see it actually attaches to the top of the battery holder and it it clicks in place. Why did we need a screw? And they've de destroyed the front part there as well. If that's normal, then that's just wrong. They really didn't need to do that. That's just not, that's not necessary. Even the screw itself is black. Why weren't they painting silver? So let's get a battery out. Standard battery, there it goes. Now, does it go flat? side up or down I don't know I think it's probably flat side up if it isn't I'll find out in a second so that's in and ah okay not particularly good not particularly bad to be honest I mean I've got too many lights on in here oh that's better that's a lot better it even lights up the yellow underneath that's a lot better I mean, I wasn't looking at it. I can see there's two halves of a dome here, but on the camera, I hope that this is actually showing on the film itself. That that actually looks pretty good, and I bet it doesn't. I bet it looks exactly like like it's doing on here with a. Is it an LED or not? It comes on instantly. It's an LED. Yeah, well, it does look on my screen on on my camera. It does look really good. And like bleeds through at certain angles. That's quite good. I like, I like that. Not exactly something to use for a nightlight. I mean, um, yeah, a little bit of light comes through. But that is actually pretty good. I quite like that. So it, it's it's nice they've done this. It's nice that they would. That there there are hundreds of starships that in the collections, Eagle Moss. I would love to strip down and put 
one or two LEDs inside. Some little basic circuit like this is, there's absolutely nothing to it. Those parts there attach to where the actual switch is, the button for it is, battery in. It's easy. Two parts there go down towards the LED. So it's, it's a very basic circuit. It's a switch, it's a bulb, it's a battery. But I do wish they had um, not put the screw through there. It'll only go one way because... Did that not fit there then? What? Well, there's a battery in, does it not fit? Ah, that's better. There we go. But yeah, it looks really cool. Really recorded and that was not needed. The screw on there. You've definitely ruined a good model by putting that on. Sorry, Edel Moss, but this is the way I feel. So, for the price wise, yeah, it was a good bargain. For that, it's unforgivable. But, yeah, okay. So be it. So be it there. Sharon. Caron. This is Sharon. It'd be an S, wouldn't it? It's Caron. Hmm. It is nice, though. I think it reminds me of things, but I can't think what. It'll come to me eventually. I still can't figure out if that is that way or if it's if it's if it's that way. I don't know. <laughs> Need to watch series one again. But other than that, done. So with that in mind, please like, subscribe, follow me on social media. If you want to help to donate to the channel to stop me ranting on, then please get in touch. Links are in the description below. If not, just get in touch with the comments. I'm on Discord, Patreon, if you want to help out. If you want to donate something, if, if yours is completely ruined and you, you want to throw it away, give it me and I'll do a, a video about f somehow filling this in and then colour matching the paint on this, which would be quite nice to do. So, don't mind. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.